In this video, we are going to have some fun. We are going to perform a de-authentication attack. Wait, what is de-authentication attack? A de-authentication attack is one which can actually disconnect a device from its access point. So say for example, so this is my Apple laptop. This is connected to UT Starcom. As you can see from here, this is my Apple laptop which is connected to UT Starcom. So with the help of de-authentication attack, I can basically disconnect this Apple laptop with its access point. So that is what de-authentication attack is. I can basically disconnect my Apple laptop with its access point that is UT Starcom. And when I stop the de-authentication attack, this Apple laptop gets connected to that particular access point that is UT Starcom again. So that is what a de-authentication attack is. So let me just tell you how to perform de-authentication attack practically so that you will exactly get that particular concept. So great. So let me just come back to Kali Linux virtual machine and uh, go to terminal and type in iwconfig just to check if my wireless card is in monitor mode. So it is in monitor mode. So I can perform aero dump. So aero dump ng space w lan 0 enter and you can see it is starting to sniff let us wait till we get the ut star com great so let me just stop the sniffing and just do the targeted sniffing on ut star com because we want to perform the de-authentication attack on this particular ut star com so to perform a targeted sniffing all you need to do is you have watched in the last video right so aero dump ng space the bssid bssid space so let me just copy the ut star com mac address here so copy and paste it here space the channel channel sorry channel space the channel that it is broadcasting in is 11 so 11 space wlan 0 that is the name of the wireless card which is in monitor mode so enter and you can see that there is one device that is now connected to ut starcom and that is nothing but my apple so if you see here it is now connected great and now you can see that there are two devices connected right now one is my apple laptop and the other one is my apple iphone but which of these is apple laptop you can see that there are two devices connected and these are their mac addresses but which of these is my apple laptop so first let us find that out so let me just come back to my apple laptop and type in terminal so if you're using windows all you need to do is you need to type ip config to get your mac address for your windows as I'm using Apple laptop, I'm going to be using ifconfig here to get my MAC address. If you're using Windows, you're going to be using ipconfig. If you have any doubts, just comment down in the discussion forum. I'll be able to help you. So if config, and let me just browse up. And you can see here, this is the MAC address for my Apple laptop. It's It ends with 6F. So let me just find that out. So C4B301C2C6F. Let me just come back here and you can see that this is the one. This is my Apple laptop that is C4B301C26C and 6F. Yeah, that is the one. So with the help of de-authentication attack, we can basically disconnect my Apple laptop with its access point that is UT Starcom. So that my Apple laptop won't be connected to that Wi-Fi that is UT Starcom. So let us actually perform the de-authentication attack. So, we can perform de-authentication attack with a tool called a replay ng so let us see how to perform the de-authentication attack so let me just stop sniffing first so i have stopped sniffing so to perform de-authentication attack all you need to do is a replay ng so a replay ng space we are performing de-authentication attack so we need to provide the de-authentication packets we need to provide you know a number of de-authentication packets Say for example, let me just provide 30,000 de-authentication packets. It is better if you just provide a lot of de-authentication packets, even 1 lakh, doesn't matter. So de-authentication packets. Next, you need to provide the MAC address of your access point. So dash A space. So the MAC address is this one, that is UT Starcom MAC address. So copy that and paste it here. So paste. And next, you need to provide the client, the device that you want to be disconnected from the UT Starcom. So we want to disconnect our Apple laptop, that is this particular one, right? 
so the client is so client space this particular one that is which ends with 6f so copy that and paste it right here space give the name of the wireless card which is in monitor mode that is wlan 0 so wlan 0 so now when i hit enter the deauthentication attack takes place that means my apple laptop gets disconnected from the wi-fi that is ut starcom so before that let me just show you that i am not connected to ut starcom all i have is a wireless card which is in monitor mode that's it and also let me just come back to my apple laptop and just type in google.com just to show you that i can access you know the internet as you can see i have access to the internet that is the apple laptop can access internet so let me just perform the deauthentication attack so enter so the deauthentication attack is taking place so let me just come back to my apple laptop as you can see here my laptop is now getting disconnected from ud starcom it is not connected so if i just reload this you can see that i have no internet connection so with the help of deauthentication attack you can basically disconnect any device from its access point so let me just come back to my car linux virtual machine now let me just stop the deauthentication attack and come back to my apple laptop so let me just come back to my apple laptop and see if this gets connected automatically or not so let me just wait and see if this apple laptop gets connected to ut starcom automatically or not And there you go it got connected again so here we have performed the deauthentication attack to disconnect my apple laptop with its access point that is ut starcom and as soon as i stopped the deauthentication attack my apple laptop was able to connect back to the ut starcom again so the conclusion is whenever you perform the deauthentication attack the device cannot be connected until and unless you actually stop the deauthentication attack so that's it for this video this is how you perform the deauthentication attack and see you in the next video.